This fire beater has introduced an undo function. We can see that here if we go and add a, another pipe, for example. So let's just add some pipes. Add that pipe. Um, and yeah, we'll add another one the same. So here we are, we've got three pipes. We can do things like delete a pipe, go back to two, and then just doing undo will restore it. We can do things like, we have a look at our detector, we've got a VU. If we were to change that to VLF, which only takes one pipe, then that um, will reduce back to there. And we can then undo that operation. And we find we're back to our VU and our three pipes. We haven't lost anything by doing that. And that really applies everywhere. We can go down to an individual item like this one, delete it, and we do an undo, and back again. In fact, this is a multi-level undo, so let's see if we uh, go and add another detector, let's, another pipe, I mean, let's do that. And we go and delete some items from here. We can step back and you'll see that it's been undoing each of those steps we just worked through. So it's basically eight levels of undo that are supported with Inner Spy. Now we can do things like delete a detector and you'll notice here that it warns us to we really want to do this. We can choose to hide that message because now we have undo so we don't necessarily need to check it every time. So if we do that so I've done it, we do that, we're back to our detector and it's got its pipes. Now if you want to bring that warning back again, go to your preferences, go under general tab and you'll see here, warned before deleting detector and there's other, there's other ones as well. So if we go and bring that back again, that? this time we delete it, got our warning, I'll switch it off again this time. We undo it, bring it back. The next time I go to lid, I don't get the warning because I've switched it off. We can do things like an auto balance. And if we look at the group details, you'll actually see that some of these hole sizes have been changed. If you decide to want to go back to what we had before, just do undo. And you'll see how quite a few of these hole sizes changed. And of course you can always do redo. You'll have to recalculate to get back to your calculator values, but there we are. So basically undo applies to most operations and it's um, eight levels deep and it gives you a certain degree of safety within while using the spire. Another feature related to this is the auto save and you can switch on auto save here, which means in the background every, say in this case, five minutes, your working design would be saved into this location. Um, and then if anything unforeseen happens to your computer or to Aspire, you've got um, a backup that you can go back to. So remember to make use of auto undo and also auto save.